Starting in the late 1970s, Circleville, Ohio, residents opened their mailboxes to find mysterious letters meant to terrorize them. This letter reads in part, You have been watched, failure to comply and you shall suffer, no one can help, no one can protect you, obey, obey. Some of the mysterious handwritten letters were sent out with no return addresses. Recipients were being accused of embezzlement, domestic violence, affairs, and even murder. School bus driver Mary Gillespie became the main target of the letters. The writer accused Gillespie, who was married, of having an affair with married school superintendent Gordon Massey. One letter to Mary Gillespie reads, Lady, this is your last chance to report him, I know you are a pig and will prove it and shame you out of Ohio, a pig sneaks around and meets other women's husbands behind their backs, causes families and homes and marriages to suffer, the letters sent to Mary Gillespie didn't tea stop and they became increasingly threatening. Her husband, Ronald Gillespie, began receiving them too. The writer, who was adamant that an alleged affair was happening between Mary Gillespie and Gordon Massey wrote to Ronald Gillespie, you should catch them together and kill them both. One evening in August 1977, while his wife was on her way to Florida, Ronald Gillespie received a mysterious phone call allegedly from the writer. He drove off in his pickup truck and was killed when he crashed into a tree. A gun that had been fired once was found under his body, raising the question if he had been firing at the letter writer. The coroner ruled Gillespie's death an accident, but others suspect he was murdered. He was 35 years old. Mary Gillespie always denied having an affair with Gordon Massey, but after her husband's death, she says they began seeing each other. That s when the threats against her escalated. On February 7, 1983, Mary Gillespie was driving her bus route to pick up kids. This is the intersection where she saw an obscene sign about her 13-year-old daughter. Mary Gillespie tried to pull the sign down from a fence, but she noticed it was rigged with twine and a box. She took the box home and opened it. Inside was a gun ready to go off. Mary Gillespie took the box to the police and they quickly realized it was a booby trap. Investigators at Ohio's Bureau of Criminal Investigation BCI uncovered the gun's serial number and traced it back to someone Mary Gillespie knew. The gun belonged to Paul Freshour. The news was shocking because Freshour was Mary and Ron Gillespie's brother-in-law. Freshour had always believed that Ron had been murdered and had pushed the Pickaway County Sheriff's Office to take a closer look at the case. Although Paul Freshour was never charged with writing the letters, at trial the judge allowed in 39 of the letters. It was a break for the prosecution who claimed the writing on the booby trap shared similarities to those letters. Paul Freshour served 10 years in prison for the attempted murder of Mary Gillespie. He wasn't he allowed pens or paper while behind bars, but the letters still continued. Even Freshour received one Freshour was convicted of attempted murder and everyone presumed the letter writer was now behind bars, but the letters never stopped. Former FBI profiler Mary Ellen O'Toole looked at the letters that continued while Paul Freshour was in prison. After nearly 20 years, the letters stopped in 1994 when Freshour was released from prison. Over the years, Freshour still maintained his innocence. If a crime continues on and you have someone in custody for a long period of time, you have to say, somebody else is sending these letters. They're not happening by magic. Somebody else is writing the letters, said O'Toole. Alright folks for more such videos subscribe to Oddity. Adios.